Welcome to your post-workout recovery stretch. I'm your coach, Caroline Jordan, and I'm so proud of you for being here and giving your body some well-deserved TLC. To get started, we'll begin with stretching our hardworking feet. So you'll take your toes, tuck them under, and sit back onto your heels. It's best if you can bring your heels together, but do the best you can with where you are today. If this is your first time doing this stretch, chances are it's highly uncomfortable. But I promise you, once you get those feet opened up, it will change your life. So try to find calm in the chaos, breathe and sit up nice and tall. Let any tension from your workout go and know that this is going to be an amazing stretch session that's going to rejuvenate your body for what's to come next. Whew, I know, I feel it too. I just am smiling because as we say on this channel, smiling is very advanced. Enough with that. Let's untuck our feet and find a tabletop position. I'm sure you're grateful to be out of that foot stretch. So with our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees under our hips, we'll start with some gentle cat cows. So you'll arch your back and look up into cow position and then pull your belly in, round your spine and tuck your chin into cat. I want you to move through a few of these on your own breath and time, letting your body calm down from the workout you just had. And letting yourself settle into whatever life has in store for you next. Let's find one final cat stretch. And then return to neutral. From here, we'll shift into child's pose. So feet together, knees apart, send your hips back to your heels and reach your arms long on the mat. Let your forehead fall towards the floor and settle in here. Take a deep grounding inhale and a long exhale. From here, walk your hands over to the left, reaching and stretching through your lat and your right hip. And then keeping your right elbow grounded on the mat, flip your palm towards the ceiling and bring your hand towards your upper back. You want to dig your right elbow into the mat, intensifying the stretch in your tricep and your lat. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release this position. Return to your twisted child's pose and then walk your hands through the center. Let's do the same thing on the second side. So walking our hands over towards the right, feeling the stretch through the left hip and lat, and then keeping the left elbow pinned to the mat, flipping the right left hand towards the ceiling and bringing it towards your upper back, digging your left elbow into the ground and lengthening through the back of the left arm and back. Breathe in and breathe out. Release the arm, return to your center and slowly come up. From here, let's lie down onto our belly. We'll move into a belly on the mat quad stretch. So you can create a pillow with one hand and then reach back with the other hand to grab the foot and stretch the quad. Now, I love doing this quad stretch because you can't cheat by arching your back. So you wanna think about pushing your hips into the floor and lengthening through the front of your quad. Now, if you can't grab the foot, do the best you can, or an alternative would be to do this on your side but using the ground as resistance will really allow you to get a lot of length through the front of that thigh. Find your stretch here and breathe. And then when you're ready, gently release the foot 
And let's switch to the second side. So creating a pillow with your hand, reaching back and grabbing your ankle, and then drawing the heel in towards your bottom. Pressing your hips down into the floor. And if you squeeze your glute, you should feel more of a release through your quad and your hip flexor. Remember, anytime you engage a muscle, the opposite muscle relaxes. So if you can keep the glute tight, you might feel a deeper stretch in the front of your hip. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Carefully and gently release the leg and then take your time and let's roll onto your back. So laying down on your back, you're going to bring your right ankle across your left knee, creating a figure four position. Flex the foot and then draw this position in towards your chest, grabbing behind the hamstring. You want to keep the foot flexed here to protect the knee. You should feel a nice stretch through your hip. We do this stretch a lot in my hip stretching videos, so definitely if you need more hip love, check those out. Breathing and relaxing. From here, slowly release the position, and let's try the stretch on the second side. So ankle across the thigh, flex the toes back, and pull in towards the chest. Let yourself relax here and take your mind to your muscles and let, allow them to let go. Sometimes we have to tell ourselves to relax. Letting your breath soften you in every position we do here. Slowly release the stretch. And let's move into the bretzel. So the bretzel is a twist. And if you've never done it before, you might want to watch and then rewind the video to join me for it. So you'll bring your right knee into your chest and you're going to take your right knee across your body into a spine twist. Now from here, your right hand is going to reach down, grab your left foot, coming into a quad stretch on the left. So you look like a pretzel. I believe the man who invented it was named Brett, hence the name Bretzel. But we might have to Google that. <laughs> Comment below if you do and let me know the true origin of the Bretzel title. Here you should feel a stretch pretty much everywhere. Hip, low back, shoulder, quad. Try to keep your shoulders grounded on the mat and breathe. Good, come back through center. Unwind yourself and we'll do the same thing on the second side. So left knee into the chest, cross the left knee across the body, take the left hand and reach for the right ankle and come into this twist where you get hip and low back and shoulder and chest and quad. It's just a whole world of wonderful. The pretzel is an excellent stretch to include after your workouts because it hits so many muscles. So if you're short on time, this is one of the most effective positions you could get into to allow your body to recover and prepare for your next exercise session. Breathing in and out. You're doing great. Slowly unwind your twist. It doesn't need to be glamorous. And then you'll roll to your side and come up. We'll move into a 90-90 position now. So for 90-90, you allow yourself to come into two 90 degree angles with your legs. So hip, knee, knee, ankle on both sides. Give yourself a check. And you wanna try and lift up and out of the waistline here. We'll be stretching our hips. So propping yourselves up onto your fingertips, you're going to hinge from your hip and bring your chest forward over your front thigh. Breathe as much as you can and try to relax. 
Now I've seen many different variations on this stretch. I've seen people take their forearms on the floor. I've seen people twist to the side. So I want you to play with this position here and explore what feels best to you right now. Whether it's hinging, twisting, or even just sitting up tall and savoring the stretch for your hips. Breathing in and out. And then whenever you're ready, we'll come up and we'll just switch to the second side. So you can swing it around. Maybe if you have some pets on the floor that are wondering why your face is so funny looking, give them some love. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Find that 90 degree position in both legs. And then from here, hinge at the hips to fold forward, try the twist, or just stay and breathe. So good. I love this sequence because it really hits all of the muscles and helps calm down the mind as well. Good. From here, return to a seated position. And you're just going to extend your legs out in front of you. And I just want you to take some big ankle circles, trying to get as much range of motion as you can. Those ankles work so hard for us and we never give them love. It's about time. And switch. This is a really good thing to do when you're watching TV, by the way. Just give your ankles some circles, work on that mobility. Good. And relax. Find a comfortable seated position. And take your hands to your heart. Just take a moment of gratitude for your hard working body that carries you through life. Thank you body. And thank you friends for joining me today for this after workout recovery stretch. I'm your certified coach, Caroline, and I would love it if you hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for coming here today, and I can't wait to see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.